hey, I wanted to show how to use our Sabak table because there are a, a few nuances about it. And we, I wanted to make sure that it was really easy for people to get in, start playing really quickly. So uh, one of the fun things uh, we added was the option to choose which deck you wanted to play on right away. So got the Celebration, the Royal Malbu, and the Han Solo inspired ones. The, the fun thing with, with um, these options is even if you normally wouldn't want to play with the Royal Naboo because um, maybe the, the numbering system you haven't gotten used to it yet, you can still play with it and then the game will do all of the math for you, which makes it really nice. So um, once you've chosen your deck, then you'll have each of the players go ahead and join in and then when you've got everybody in, the first thing you'll want to do is uh, go to your uh, intergalactic bank terminal and um, set everything up and get ready for uh, the game by getting all your credits ready. <clears throat> so one of the first things you'll want to do that I recommend is um, clicking on this little button here. I know it doesn't look like it's a button, but it's a button. Click on this button and then um, set a set some sort of hotkeys. So um, this is changing the amounts that your credits go up or down by and you'll kinda see uh, what I mean by that in just a minute but usually what I do is I just um, I usually just uh, set a hotkey for this 100 change amounts by 100 instead of 10 and I just click a random keyboard key so in this instance that I've clicked I close out of that now, um, usually we start off with 1,500 credits, but you could change it to be whatever you want. Um, but you'll notice that if I move the plus or minus, it goes by tens, which if you're trying to get down to zero, it'll take a long time. So if I hold I, which is that hotkey I added, then I can go up or down by 100. Um, and I'll show you why that's useful in just a second. So let's assume that we want to do the 1500 credit buy-in, which I think is a really good buy-in. It's a lot of fun. Um, you'll click it once and then press again to confirm buying 1500. Click it again and now we've bought. So our balance is at 1500 credits and now we can withdraw and the amount you withdraw is whatever's in this amount. So we'll click withdraw and now we've got our 1500 credits. So say we are playing and I've bet all of my bronze credits and I need some more. So I can put a credit on here. I can hold I, move this down, and I'm going to deposit 50 credits. So now you see I've got a balance of 50 credits. And then I can go ahead and withdraw the 50 credits. And it gives me 10 fives. So I can have another stack of 10 fives. And you could do the same thing. So if I if I put in 100 credits, um, deposit, and then if I want to withdraw, and then I have 150 and then 10 fives. Um, so you, you have like your own little change system to get the credits that you need. The other thing that we like to do is at the end, we'll go ahead and grab everything and put it on the drawer. I got, I got too many credits. Let's see if I can stack it up. You can do it in multiple uh, stacks as well. There we go. And then if I deposit, this is what we like to do at the end of the game, because then you can count all of the credits. So we'll see, oh, yep, I have 1,500 credits. Uh, so at the end of the game, we'll just tally up who has the most by depositing everything back in the bank account. So I'll withdraw that again. <clears throat> um, of note, when handling the credits, if you um, quickly hover and click one, you'll grab one. If you hold, you'll grab the whole stack and then you can drag and drop and then hold to grab the whole thing. Um, I think that's pretty much everything with the console um, other than uh, 
the value, the card section, which we'll get to now. So, um, buttons. Let's draw, let's play a new hand. Every time you you push the new hand button, it changes who is the dealer, and the dealer will have the token. And then the person to the left of the dealer will will pay the blind, and then you'll start going around. Um, down here at the bottom, it will tell you what the value of your cards are. So the value I've got is negative 28, and it is a bomb out. It will tell you if it's a bomb out. So if it's a zero, um, or if it's um, below negative 23 or above positive 23, then it's a bomb out. So it'll tell you. You don't even have to know what the cards are. Also, if you hover over the cards here, it'll tell you, and if you hover over the cards down here. So even if you're completely off your screen, you can look. If you're if you're eyeing whether people have, you can still see your own cards. So let's say it's my turn to trade. Well, let's let's say uh, it's my turn to bet. So I can bet here, and then for your ante at the beginning of the hand, um, you just put it on this half of the circle, and that's the sabak pot. So you'll notice that it shows the sabak pot, the bet pot, or hand pot, and then if you were to bomb out. What, what's that 10% number that you have to pay as a bomb out fee? And usually we just round to the nearest five just so it's easy. Whether that's up or down, you can specify. So um, let's, now that we've bet, let's draw a card. <clears throat> wow, that's, I don't know if I've ever gotten three negative cards like that <laughs> ever. So um, got a card. Um, maybe let's say the next round. I want to um, trade instead of just drawing one. So what, what you can do is anytime you go to grab a card, it'll automatically flip it. And then you can just toss it wherever there's no specific discard pile because it doesn't really matter. But it, you'll see, even if I just try and grab it, it automatically flips it. Now, um, if, you're, if you accidentally grabbed it and it flipped, you can just hover over it and press F and it'll flip. That's the flip hotkey, F. So if you accidentally grabbed it and you're like, oh, what card was that? Then you can just hover over, click F. Um, and then we continue, then we can draw a card, discard and trade. So I'm at negative 23. Wow, that's like the pretty much the best hand of the game, sec second best hand of the game. I don't know if I've ever gotten negative 23. It's been a long time at least. So, um, Let's do, let's roll the dice. Let's do a dice round. Um, you can just um, jiggle them around with your mouse and then let them go and it'll roll. But usually what I like to do is just select them and then press R or press R several times to give it a good roll. And let's roll it a couple times. Okay, I've now gotten a shift. So the symbols matched. It showed shift in the bottom corner, uh, which you can't see because my body is in the bottom corner, but then I also set it up in the top right, I mean the top middle. So if there's a Sabak shift, then what you'll do is you'll click the Sabak shift button. It'll gr bring in all the cards, shuffle the deck, and then re-deal uh, you the number of cards you had. Um, let's get rid of this card so that I can end around and not bomb out. So um, when someone calls Alderaan and everybody's had their last turn, then we can click end round <clears throat> and then it declares the winner. Now the, the, this winner declaration um, uh, will tell you if, if there's a clear winner. If someone is tied, then it'll say sudden demise and then have the two players. So uh, we'll go over that secondly, but if, uh, say uh, I've won, then once I've won, then I can click gather credits, and then all the winnings will go to my left um, drawer, my left bank drawer. Then they get restacked if I want, and then we can start a new hand. So now, if, we, if we're playing and we have a tie, we end round and it says that there's a tie, then what we'll each have to do is each person will click the draw a card button one more time, draw a card, the other person will click draw a card, and then um, 
then you'll look at your new total and see who wins. If that's the case, then um, then you'll have to manually select the credits and pick them up because it won't know who wins like that sudden demise round. So uh, that gather credits won't really work. Um, also, if you have people leave, uh, fold, but they don't get their cards out, then they will also be technically in play. So you'll want to make sure you throw all the cards out of people who have folded. Anybody who's folded, their cards need to go out, and then they won't be uh, taken into effect uh, if, if the end round button is clicked. Um, the last thing is the protected area. So let's do a new hand. Um, if you remember, if I try and grab it, it will be flipped over. But if you want to drag it into the protected area, you need to flip it right side up. So you'll press the F. And then you'll notice that it still correctly counts my hand. Seven and a 13 to give me the 20. And then I'm revealing this hand. So this card is completely hidden from my opponents. And then anything that's face up in the protected area is shown to my opponents. And then if I click Sabak Shift, you'll see it's protected. So um, hopefully that covers everything. Those are the main mechanics and features that that really make it convenient. So for example, the more the more you add as betting, then you'll see all these numbers change and round, gather credits. And then I guess the last thing is uh, when someone does get the 23, you'll just have to manually gather the Sabak pot credits and then pull them over into your hand um, because it won't automatically know. Um, so hopefully that gets you up and playing. It's, it's so much fun when you're playing with a bunch of friends and uh, it really gets rolling pretty quickly, especially with all the buttons. So um, the only other thing you've just got to remember is when you are if we do a new hand, when you are wanting to trade a card, you'll want to grab the card, take it out, and then click the draw card. Um, because you, you've got to discard before you draw for the trade. Um, other than that, um, you can play around with the amounts. You can have huge credit amounts and be betting hundreds of credits at a time. You can add or subtract as much as you want, which is a lot of fun, and decide on whatever buying you'd like but it really da does add a lot to play. So I hope this um, explains everything and gets you up and playing really quickly.